Hello viewers, welcome to Mojo for Industry in Tech Special So we are reporting straight from the stall of Exit Toolings Private Limited. Exit Toolings, started in 2009, delivers the latest technologies in metal cutting. Today, the brand XCut has presence with over 7,000 users across the country and more than 1 million in stock at any point of time. Now we will be talking to Mr. Viral Sa, Managing Director XCut Technologies to talk about their products, technologies and XCut's commitment to the Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat. Uh, great to join by Mr. Viral Sa. He's the uh, he's representing uh, XCut Toolings. And uh, what you got to know while going to the stall that XCut Toolings is one of the leading brands when it comes to uh, to uh, cutting tools. So and you have presence across India and you have very good inventory as well. So just and uh, wanted to understand from the viewers of uh, Mojo for Industry that how uh, how has been the journey so far and can you just give us a big background about yourself and your company? Okay. So, XCart is a new brand. It's only a six-year-old brand. And uh, we are doing very well. We are catering to now across India with more than 7,000 odd users. We have a network everywhere. And since we are an Indian brand, we are getting a lot of attention from a lot of Indian manufacturing. So, this makes it even better. Our products are accepted in across industries. Automotive, aerospace, dynamo, general engineering, and even um, uh, defense. So we are doing a lot of different work and our team is very motivated. India is a very growing economy and we are trying to make the most of it. Get to know about uh, XCUT's presence across the Indian market and get to know about the team, energetic team, what you have. Uh, and you have diverse presence as you mentioned that in uh, automobile, automotive, uh, aerospace, defense, all these sectors. Uh, which of, of, of one of these sectors is going to drive your growth in the times to come and why? Automotive is definitely going to go very well. With the EV transition, yes, there are changes, there are challenges, but it will do well. Dye and mold is doing very well. A lot of dye manufacture is increasing in India. Aerospace is going to go very strong because Boeing, Airbus are going to put up their own plants here. A lot of business of aerospace is going to increase dramatically. So we're looking at that segment also going up very well. Pharmaceutical also is going well. So if you ask me which segment is not doing well, I will say none. Because India is really growing well industrially. A lot of manufacturing investment is coming in. So as you said, the adoption of EVs, uh, though the, it, it's being actually called as this kind of sunrise sector for Indian industry. Uh, so you see that there is a kind of challenge as well as opportunities for you. So uh, for our viewers, can we just highlight the challenges what you see? Yes, uh, the IC engine is going to go out. So definitely a lot of moving parts change. But along with that, a lot of other opportunities come in an EV. Right, uh, the transmission line still remains. A lot of things are still there, and of course, this is a very high chance for India to export a lot of EVs. So maybe the automobile production will shoot up over some time. So this is an opportunity as well, a huge opportunity. So if I'm not wrong, it's a homegrown company, and you are looking at exports. Uh, uh, the, though there are not many players who uh, are from this cutting, uh, cutting tool segment, very niche segment. Uh, who are exporting to uh, global markets. Uh, how is that, uh, how unique you are and what sort of USPs you have for exports? So, we are looking at that as a very big option in the near future. But since we are a new brand, right now maybe in the year or two, we are more focused towards the Indian market. And probably we will be looking at exports very big way. Because we are seeing a lot of inquiries coming from around the world for our products. And this is a very good opportunity. So, we will be tapping it very soon. And we are at uh, Imtex. This is Southeast Asia's largest exhibition on machine tools and manufacturing. And if you don't talk about your participation in, the, in this particular exhibition standing here, it will not be justified. So, uh, to talk about that as well. Imtex is one of the best opportunities for Indian manufacturing. For all kinds of pr products, in man especially cutting tools, it's very good. Because we get to meet all our users. They come in, they see all the latest products. And it's a wonderful show. This year has been really encouraging. We have seen amazing footfalls. Quality is up drastically over last Imtech. So, it's fantastic. So, we could see uh, the visitors thronging in your stall and this is the day 4. Uh, what's there for next 3 days? Oh, yeah, uh, the weekend's getting over. So, that's one good part. We may have very good quality visitors we are expecting. So, this is also going to continue. 
since this is after four years, this is unpredictable. The viewers, are, the visitors are going to keep coming in, and we are very happy to welcome them. You will be surprised. We had so many people from government agencies, ISRO coming in, all kinds of automotive companies, aerospace companies. Every sector was there. They all were coming in because everyone's machining. And this is a show for machining. So everyone was there. They were inquiring. Fortunately, we have products for almost all segments. So we were very happy to welcome them. And it is a great opportunity because I see a lot of growth in all parts of machining in our country. Uh, being in this domain for five years or so, and uh, you already uh, thinking of or rather started uh, in the export as well. How do you like to strengthen your position in the Indian market and how do you like to ensure availability of your products? We would like to offer more innovative solutions, more thoughtful solutions, because today the customers need to reduce cycle time and reduce the cost. So we would like to look at both those angles. One. On the other side, we would also want to improve our serviceability to them by improving our software skills, more CRMs, more app-based solutions, so that you go more digital in all forms. So we are trying to do that, and I believe that will help a lot for business growth and expansion. Uh, before we conclude, uh, we would uh, uh, like to ask you that what's your message for your uh, customers and what is your assurance to the market? Uh, I would really appreciate our customers to welcome our Indian brand, a homegrown Indian brand. So warmly, we've got an amazing response. We will keep on adding more value to the industry, keep on doing more innovative things. We will try our best to be one of the best Indian companies who can deliver good space in the current pool segment. So it was great talking to Mr. Viral Saab, representing Exca Toolings, and we wish that uh, they achieve all the targets they, they are targeting for the uh, forthcoming uh, decade or so. Thank you so much and wish you all the best for your journey, sir. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.